to my channel everybody this is unique speaks over here talking about what I'm talking about and this video is going to be all about reading and I am so excited that you are here so go ahead and thumbs up this video because what we're going to be obtaining and determining to speak over this video is to win souls yes that's right and so I am going to make sure that this channel is always producing something that's going to help someone and what I mean by that, if we can't not pick up this word and read it, then at least we can at least take the time to listen to it. So I thank you for taking the time to tune in to this video, because this video is all about reading the Word of God. So like, comment down below, share your love, share your prayers, share your thoughts, because I'm pretty sure the Word of God is going to speak to you. That's the Holy Spirit, so allow Him to speak. God bless you. The Book of Revelation Chapter 10 Title, The Angel and the Small Scroll then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, surrounded by a cloud with a rainbow over his head. His face shone like the sun, and his feet were like pillars of fire. And in his hand was a small scroll that had been opened. He stood with his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and he gave a great shout like the roar of a lion. And when he shouted, the seven thunders answered. When the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write. But I heard a voice from heaven saying, Keep secret what the seven thunders said, and do not write it down. Then the angel I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand toward heaven. He swore an oath in the name of the one who lives forever and ever, who created the heavens and everything in them, the earth and everything in it, and the sea and everything in it. He said, there will be no more delay. When the seventh angel blows his trumpet, God's mysterious plan will be fulfilled. It will happen just as he announced it to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice from heaven spoke to me again, go and take the open scroll from the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and I told him to give me the small scroll. Yes, take it and eat it, he said. It will be sweet as honey in your mouth, but it will turn sour in your stomach. So I took the small scroll from the hand of the angel and I ate it. It was sweet in my mouth, but when I swallowed it, it turned sour in my stomach. Then I was told, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. Chapter 11. titled The Two Witnesses. Then I was given a measuring stick and I was told, go and measure the temple of God and the altar and count the number of worshipers, but do not measure the outer courtyard for it has been turned over to the nations. They will trample the holy city for 42 months and I will give power to my two witnesses and they will be clothed in burlap and will prophesy during those 1,260 days. These two prophets are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of all the earth. 
If anyone tries to harm them, fire flashes from their mouths and consumes their enemies. This is how anyone who tries to harm them must die. They have power to shut the sky so that no rain will fall for as long as they prophesy. And they have the power to turn the rivers and oceans into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they wish. When they complete their testimony, the beast that comes up out of the bottomless pit will declare war against them, and he will conquer them and kill them, and their bodies will lie in the main street of Jerusalem, the city that is figuratively called Saddam, and Egypt, the city where their Lord was crucified. And for three and a half days, all peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will stare at their bodies. No one will be allowed to bury them. All the people who belong to this world will gloat over them and give presents to each other to celebrate the death of the two prophets who had tormented them. But after three and a half days, God breathed life into them and they stood up. Terror struck all who were staring at them. Then a loud voice from heaven called to the two prophets, Come up here! And they rose to heaven in a cloud as their enemies watched. At the same time, there was a terrible earthquake that destroyed a tenth of the city. Seven thousand people died in that earthquake, and everyone else was terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second terror is past, but look, the third terror is coming quickly. Titled, The Seventh Trumpet Brings the Third Terror. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices shouting in heaven, The world has now become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. The 24 elders sitting on their thrones before God fell with their faces to the ground and worshiped him. And they said, we give thanks to you, Lord God, the almighty, the one who is and who it always was. For now you have assumed your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were filled with wrath, but now the time of your wrath has come. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants, the prophets, as well as your holy people and all who fear your name, from the least to the greatest. It is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. Then in heaven, the temple of God was open and the ark of his covenant could be seen inside the temple. Lightning flashed thunder crashed and roared, and there was an earthquake and a terrible hailstorm. Chapter 12, titled, The Woman and the Dragon. Then I witnessed in heaven an event of great significance. I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant, and she cried out because of her labor pains and the agony of giving birth. Then I witnessed in heaven another significant event. I saw a large red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, with seven crowns on his heads. His tail swept away one-third of the stars in the sky, and he threw them to the earth. He stood in front of the woman as she was about to give birth ready to devour her baby as soon as it was born. She gave birth to a son who was to rule all nations with an iron rod. And her child was snatched away from the dragon and was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where God had prepared a place to care for her for 1,260 days. Then there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels, and the dragon lost the battle, and he and his angels were forced out of heaven. 
this great dragon, the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, the one deceiving the whole world, was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens. It has come at last, salvation and power, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to earth. And the one who accuses them before our God day and night. And they have defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. Therefore rejoice, O heavens. And you who live in the heavens rejoice. But terror will come on the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you in great anger, knowing that he has little time. When the dragon realized that he had been thrown down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But she was given two wings like those of a great eagle so she could fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness. There she would be cared for and protected from the dragon for a time, times and half a time. Then the dragon tried to drown the woman with the blood of water that flowed from his mouth. But the earth helped her by opening up its mouth and swallowing the river that gushed out from the mouth of the dragon. And the dragon was angry at the woman and declared war against the rest of her children. All who keeps God's commandments and maintain their testimony for Jesus. Then the dragon took his stand on the shore beside the sea. Thank you so much for joining me this evening as we got into the word. I do pray that you were blessed by hearing God's word. And I do pray that you will share with someone who may need to hear it. There's always room for an opportunity and a chance for a soul to be saved. And I believe by faith that God's word alone is just enough to do the transforming. God bless you and thank you for joining me once again. And until the next time, may you continue to be blessed and kept by the Lord. For he loves and cares for you. God bless you.